So today we're in my 2005 C6 Corvette with the 3LT package Z51. Uh, what that means is that the 3LTs, uh, you get the head up display, heated seats right here, and then you have the touch screen navigation, but I have that off right now. And then the adjustable lumbar support and power seats and all that good stuff. And the side bolstering, this is also a six speed. So I'm gonna try and drive while I film. It's gonna be kind of hard because one hand's gonna be shifting and one hand's gonna be holding the camera. So yeah, so this is as loaded as they came in uh, 2005. And one of the reasons why I think if you're considering it, you should definitely get it. Uh, I have the 2005, so it is the first year, and I know a lot of people avoid the first year of the Corvette because they're scared of, you know, uh, maybe kinks or flaws that they were still working out. And my vehicle have about 80,000 miles on it, and so far I haven't really encountered any problems. I owned it for about eight months, put about 8,000 miles on it. I do daily drive it. Uh, my other vehicle is a Land Cruiser. That thing gets about 11 miles per gallon. This gets about 16 to 22, depending uh, if I drive how much, you know, how much freeway or city. So this thing, do you get better fuel economy? And plus, it's just a funner drive. Uh, one thing I love about this vehicle is the removable, you know, hardtop or the target top. When I'm stuck in traffic, even though it sucks, I could just look up into the sky and be like, man, this is pretty sweet. But this guy trying to squeeze in, that's LA traffic for you, man. They just do whatever they want. So one of the reasons why I got a Corvette was, you know, I was looking to like a daily fun sports car, right? And a Corvette was not on the list originally. Uh, I was looking at 370Z, 350Z, Honda S2000, uh, maybe a pre-owned uh, Subaru STI. But I looked at the pricing on those things and I was just like, man, they're expensive. They really are. And for the power and performance you get, it's not that impressive. I bought my car for about $16,300. I mean... You try and find another vehicle with 400 horsepower, 400 foot pound of torque, and a six liter V8 six speed manual for the same price or around the same price. This performance wise, nothing could beat it. I mean, standard LSD. Uh, it has a trans axle. What that means is that the transmission is in the back, engine's in the front. So, kind of like a GTR, Nissan GTR, very well balanced. I mean, this car is really understated. Most people overlook this car because they were like, oh, you know, it's an old man's car. You get it when you retired. And you know what? You're probably right because I bought it from an older gentleman. Uh, he was retired and this car was well taken care of. That's another key point I want to point out. When you're looking at Honda S2000s, 350Z, whatever, those Japanese imports, who typically own those cars? You know? kids and people that just like to modify it uh, maybe track it uh, and then they might not be on top of the maintenance whatever those cars are usually pretty much used up good luck finding a pristine untouched uh, cars like those but our Corvette all day you could find clean ones usually owned by older responsible uh, owners who took care of their car Right? I mean, if you see this car in person, you wouldn't believe it. it's 16 years old. The paint is pretty flawless. Uh, as you can tell, the interior. The interior is in great shape. Never smoked in. It's just it's just a world of a difference as far as uh, how well it's taken care of to most car apps seen. And on top of the performance the interior feature so like i said earlier this is a 3lt it has the head up display right here i mean that's pretty cool for a 2005 i mean i'm very impressed by it 
uh, dual zone climate control. So that's great because me and my girlfriend, she likes it hot. I like it cold. Heated seats. Adjustable side bolstering. I mean, both. This also has Bose. Let me see if we can show you. Yeah. Uh, Bose sound system. I mean, this is a very well equipped vehicle for its time. And compared to the other vehicle I was looking at, I mean, this has comfort. It has the luxuries that I'm looking for. Oh, also, this has keyless. So that means I keep the key in my pocket. I open the door just by touching it, push start. All these little convenience features push me towards the Corvette. And on top of that, again, the 6 liter V8, the LS2 in this car, this thing's a beast. I mean, there's no way, you know, any of those imports could touch this car in the straight line, maybe even on, on handling. This car handles so well with the Z51 package. And I'm not a professional driver or whatever, but yeah, man, I this car is just way better than like those imports car I was looking at. That's why I picked it. You know, it's a matter of opinion. You might disagree. I'm not, you know, trying to say, oh, get the Corvette. This is the all-in-one car that you should get. And to be honest, there is some downside to owning this car. The gas mileage, right? I'm at Costco Gas right now. This car, on a good day, I probably get uh, around 20. And uh, that's actually really accurate too, the fuel economy gauge inside this car. About 20 to 21 uh, MPG. On a day where I drive a lot of city, maybe I like to kind of feel the power, I'm getting about 16, 17. So the fuel economy is not the best, but it's not the worst, that's for sure. Um, so there's really not too many cons with this car that I could think of. Oh, and then as far as the hatch, it has a huge hatch in the back. I could fit laundry, gym bags, I could fit all kinds of stuff. I went to Costco. I will actually, I do take this car to Costco to go Costco shopping. I'll fit all my groceries in there, no problem. And plus the styling. I mean, it just looks way better. You know, it aged so well, you know, for 2005. It looks so good. And it just looks a lot more expensive than it really is. And also, another thing I want to point out, their insurance on this car. You would think, oh man, two-door V8 sports car must be expensive to insure. So it depends on, you know, your driving record, obviously, and your insurance company. But this car is cheaper to insure than my 2000 Land Cruiser, okay? By like maybe three, four bucks every six months. But I was surprised, okay? I had a 2015 Subaru WRX. The premium on that car for six months, I pay every six months, it's $1,200. For this car, it was about 387 So, I mean, we're talking about four times cheaper for almost like double the horsepower. Sure, you know, maybe the age could have, could have done with it, but from what I, from what my research is, is that the vehicle you pick, it depends how often they're crashed, the demographic that they drive in, and the location you're in. The Subaru WRX I had, yeah, man. Every kid had it, and they'll be wrecking them, wrapping them around telephone pole, left and right. That's why the premium is so high. But our Corvette, most of the time, if you can afford a Corvette brand new, that thing is about like fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars. They're not gonna be street racing with it. It's not gonna be wrapping it around telephone pole, flying off the grand uh, canyons. Just got done getting gas, uh, about forty-four bucks for twelve gallons, thirteen gallons. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think. I mean, you know, for California, it's not bad at all. Probably for everywhere else, it's horrific. But yeah, so you know, when you gas up the Corvette, another really weird quirk about it is that you gotta fill it, fill it upside down the nozzle, because this vehicle has two gas tank, one of each side, uh, one on each side, uh, behind the driver and behind the passenger. So if you fill it up the traditional way in California or a state where they have the rubber uh, vapor guard, 
it's not gonna fill up all the way it'll just keep clicking off so the only way to fill it up to the top without it going off by itself or when it actually tops itself off is that you have to fill it upside down so this concludes the video